Hey guys, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I got on my workout clothes today. I got my hat on. Didn't feel like doing anything to my hair, so I have my hat on. And it is fall. I'm so happy that it's fall, you guys. I got a little pumpkin over there, and I got another little pumpkin. Can you see it? It's like a little gold little pumpkin to try to just get into the, um, the fall, the season of fall. It's still pretty hot. I think it's supposed to be 90 four degrees today so it's still hot but in the evenings it's a lot cooler so um, it's nice to just experience things cooling down some and uh, so you guys I wanted to do this video for you guys because um, I did uh, share that I was going to share uh, spiritual warfare teaching with you guys and so what I decided to do because I already had a spiritual warfare teaching on my website there's a section of my website where i had a lot of i still have a lot of audio teachings that are there so when um back in you know when i was doing full-time ministry and we had a ministry team and we had a lot of new people that wanted to join the team so i recorded a lot of audio teachings and trainings deliverance how we do deliverance uh, a lot of the stuff that the lord taught us in ministry i put it in these audio trainings on my website and um you know i don't they're not you know public now they're still private but they're on my website so i can go get them and so i went and got uh the spiritual warfare teaching that i had on there and it's actually in a podcast form but it's audio and so i decided to just upload that and it's going to be attached to this video so you guys can check it out it's like 39 minutes long so it's pretty long um, it's in sections. I think it's like four sections because I, I did a little bit and then I attached this and I did like four or five sections to it. So it's pretty long, but, uh, it is, uh, everything, um, the basic spiritual warfare that the Lord has, um, gave me to actually share with the people. I did at a conference in 2017 and it was a spiritual warfare conference. So this is everything that the Lord actually gave me for that conference to share with the people about spiritual warfare. So this uh, this audio teaching, um, attaching it to this video. So I did it in 2017, uh, but it's, it has a lot of great information to help you guys. Um, and actually, you know, I was gonna do the same video, you know, <laughs> Uh, but I already have it in audio format, so I just wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can um, get that today. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying this day. I did want to share something with you guys, um, but I think I'll do that in the next video, okay? And um, also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, the focus of uh, what I'm called to do in this ministry is to help people walk really, really close to God like you know, they walk with God in the, in the garden, you know, the relationship that they have with God then, and also helping people overcome the enemy. Um, the Lord has called me to deliverance. I've been in the ministry of deliverance over 10 years. And um, so that is the focus of this ministry, helping people walk really close to God and overcoming the enemy. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel. This is your channel. And also like this video. Please like, I love it when you guys like this video and comment and also it lets YouTube know that you guys like these type of videos. And so I thank you so much for uh, your support. And I do have something, I'm gonna do it in the next video. I'm gonna, as soon as I stop this video, I'm gonna record another video for you guys because I have something special that um, I was talking to the Lord today about doing and I'm kind of excited about doing it. And so, all right, so the audio teaching is coming right after this. God bless. Hello everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson with Freedom Nation and I am doing a podcast today and this podcast is about spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare and a little about myself, I've been in the ministry of deliverance for over 10 years and spiritual warfare has a lot to do with deliverance. The more you learn about um, the spiritual realm, the more you learn about, um, you know, setting people free and um, our authority that we have in the name of Jesus Christ and just the, everything that the Lord has given us access to, you will learn a lot about spiritual warfare. And so I did an event this past um, weekend and I taught on spiritual warfare. And um, it was a very uh, exciting event and I wanted to share some of the basics with you. 
Um, one of the first things I wanted to, to share is what is spiritual warfare? What is spiritual warfare? And I asked the Lord to give me his definition of spiritual warfare. And this is what he said. Spiritual warfare is battling from the heavenly realms. Battling from the heavenly realms. And um, another thing is that spiritual warfare cannot be done from the natural realm. It just cannot be done from an, from the natural realm. And a lot of people, uh, that's where they do spiritual warfare. They don't know how to access the spiritual realm to do warfare. So they do warfare, spiritual warfare from the natural realm. They buy these books and they, they say these prayers spiritual warfare prayers and they're saying these prayers and they're doing this warfare but they're not doing it from the spiritual realm and what's happening is they're basically um, wasting their time doing all of this stuff because nothing is happening now this is what the Lord said this is what the Lord said I asked him about you know when someone's doing spiritual warfare from the natural realm you know what's happening this is what the Lord said he said the enemy desires to attack those people more because they are attempting to fight them. Okay? Now this is what the Lord said. Whenever someone is operating or doing spiritual warfare from the natural realm, saying these prayers, these spiritual warfare prayers, they're doing all of this stuff from the natural realm. What's happening is the enemy, the demons are standing there watching them doing it and because nothing is happening because here the Lord said the enemy desires to attack those people more because they are attempting to fight when the person is doing spiritual warfare from the the natural realm the enemy is seeing that and what's happening the enemy is desiring the enemy is having the, a desire to attack those people more and the reason why is because the Lord said because they are attempting to fight them they are attempting to fight the enemy they're not fighting him they're attempting to do it and the enemy seeing that like okay they're attempting they're trying to fight me even though nothing's happening so now i'm gonna really attack them i'm you know i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and really 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 try to attack them you know the lord said it makes the enemy desire to attack them more so you have a lot of people that's doing spiritual warfare they're doing it from the natural realm and all of a sudden they're getting all of these attacks everything is starting to come you know attacks is coming from everywhere because of they're doing this from the natural realm they're not doing it from the right realm and so this is what was happening um, you know, we have to be equipped when we're doing these things I know a lot of people are writing books on spiritual warfare and a lot of prayers and stuff but um, if you don't, hello everyone. I am Apostle Michelle Peterson with Freedom Nation, and um, I'm excited today. I am doing my part two of spiritual warfare. And the last podcast, I talked about what is spiritual warfare, and I shared that the Lord had uh, told me that spiritual warfare it's battling from the heavenly realms. It's battling from the heavenly realms. And spiritual warfare cannot be done from the natural realm. And I was sharing um, on my last podcast is that a lot of times, a lot of people, that's the place where they do spiritual warfare. Um, they have these books and they're reading prayers from them and they're doing spiritual warfare from the natural realm. And nothing is happening. It's basically, you know, they're wasting their time. Uh, the Lord told me that what's happening is when they're doing that, the enemy desires to attack those people more because they are attempting to fight them they're attempting to fight them and the enemy is desiring to attack them more okay and then i gave an example um you know uh, about um having an encounter with the principality and i didn't know if i was ready to be at that place yet and the lord told me yes i was ready but you have to be equipped you have to be ready you can't do things like this without knowing what you're doing you know if you don't know what you're doing and then you're gonna bring more attacks on you you know you may have only had a few and then you're gonna have like hundreds of attacks so you just have to know what you're doing you have to you know learn from the right people and um, do things the right way okay so today I'm just gonna share a little bit uh, with you about the spiritual realm um, accessing the spiritual realm and 
since you know warfare is something that's done from the spiritual realm, it's done from the heavenly realms. Um, one of the main main things that you need to learn about accessing the spiritual realm, everything that is done in the spiritual realm must be done with God to be legal. To be legal, it must be done with God. Um, there's two um, realms in the spiritual realm. There's two realms. You have God's realm, and then you have the demonic realm. Okay? And if you are accessing the spiritual realm, because we can access the spiritual realm if we want to. Um, everyone on this earth can access the spiritual realm. Um, but if you are accessing the spiritual realm without um you know our lord jesus christ without our heavenly father you will automatically be in the demonic realm because you cannot access god's realm without him <laughs> um a lot of people that access the demonic realm are people like um people who practice witch witchcraft uh warlocks occult members satanists um even even people in other religions that meditate and and do things like yoga um, they access the spiritual realm. They may not know that they're actually accessing the demonic realm, but they are not accessing the realm of God because they cannot access that realm without him. Okay. And so uh, remember that there's two realms, the demonic realm and the realm of God. In the realm where the witches and warlocks and all of those people who are, you know, against God, they operate in the demonic realm. They operate in the spiritual realm. But it's not God's realm. It's the demonic realm. Okay. Christians, we are so blessed. We can operate in the realm with God because of our Lord Jesus Christ coming and dying on the cross for our sins and uh, redeeming us back to the Father so we can have a relationship with the Father and we can access the spiritual realm with the Father. We can be in the heavenly places with our Lord. So we are so blessed to be able to do that, okay? Um, but when it comes to doing warfare, we can do warfare in the realm with God, okay? And and so that's that's the point of today. I want to just let you know just those basic things about being. Um, there's two realms in the spiritual realm, and you can access. You can access both if you're if you're a Christian. You can access the God God's realm, but there are both, and um, you can actually access both of those realms and be in the spiritual realm. But one of the things I do want to talk about is our focus. Our focus when you are in the spiritual realm with the Lord, and a lot of worshipers, um, they may not know it, but worshipers, those that love the Lord and worship the Lord. They access the spiritual realm a lot because that's how we actually have to worship God. Not most, not many people worship the Lord in spirit, but um, a lot of serious worshipers, they can access that realm because you have to worship the Lord in spirit. Um, and so with those type of people, worshipers, they access the spiritual realm a lot. And sometimes they can get caught in that realm because they may not know how to get out. And when they finish worshiping, um, they can actually get distracted and cross over to the demonic realm. And I'll share a little bit more about that uh, in my next podcast. And that podcast will be about how to access the realm with God. And how to stay in that realm with God and how to get out. <laughs> but um, so today is just a podcast on just to let you know that everything that is done in the spiritual realm needs to be done with God to make it legal. You can access it, but it will be illegal. You will access it illegal if you're not accessing it with God. And so my next podcast, I will share with you how to access the spiritual realm with God. Okay, so have a blessed day and God bless. Hello everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson with Freedom Nation and today I am doing this podcast about spiritual warfare. This is Spiritual Warfare Part 3. Okay, and so um, just a quick recap. Uh, my first one, I talked about what is spiritual warfare. The second one is 
about the spiritual realm that everything that's done in the spiritual realm must be done with God to be legal okay and also about there's two realms the realm of God and the demonic realm and um, all people we can access the spiritual realm but if we are accessing the spiritual realm without God we will automatically be in the demonic realm not the realm of God okay and so today I'm going to talk about how do I access the realm with God how do I access the realm with God okay and so this is a few things that the Lord shared with me and that I've been teaching his people and um, we have a retreat that we're going to try to start touring taking this retreat around to different ministries and and um, doing events with this retreat retreat so people can actually have encounters with God intimate encounters with him and the retreat is called access retreat and so these I'm going to share with you um, a couple of things ways you can access the spiritual realm with God okay and these are um, let's see how many on here two of these that's on here the Lord actually gave these to me that we're going to be doing at the retreat we actually have five that we're going to do at the retreat but these are just two okay so um, a way that you can access the realm with God first of all like I said like I talked about in the last podcast is worship if you are a worshiper and you really focus on the Lord now I'm, I'm not saying when you're just at church and you're just shouting and you're jumping around and you're you know your focus is not a hundred percent on God it's about all your you know all your problems and you're crying because you don't know how your bills is gonna get paid and you feel like the Holy Ghost came over you because you're crying because you don't know how your bills not not that that's not focused on God that's focusing on self and, and the things of the world I mean when you are focused on the Lord and it's all about him nothing else is on your mind just him that's the type of focus that's the type of you know worship we're talking about here um, if you are that type of worshiper and then you can access the spiritual realm whenever you are focused on the Lord like that the big thing is focus because we can sing we can sing worship songs um, the words could be great perfect we can sing we can praise God but if our focus is not a hundred percent on him you will not be able to access that realm you're just kind of just going through the motions you know um, but if you're a worshiper and you really get into just God and nothing else you kind of forgot about everything you have to do today that day and it's all about him you can access that realm you can access that realm okay then the next thing is and this is this is the most important like I you can do this every single day like when you wake up in the morning lunch time you know anytime you want before you go to bed um, before you pray before you worship you can do this anytime this one right here the Lord actually told me this one specifically um, what it is is open your heart to God open your heart to God okay and some people may say well my heart is already open to the Lord but actually it's not <laughs> and I'll tell you this is exactly what the Lord told me what we have to do to have our heart open to him the first thing you have to do you have to focus on him like I was saying with with worship to access God your focus has to be on God it cannot be on the clock the time what you have to do your thoughts all of that stuff you have to calm that stuff down you have to I mean it has to just totally be about God that's how you access him it has to be on him focused okay then when you get your focus on him whatever you got to do I mean I, I tell people try to see if you can get a picture or something you know like Revelation has a, a lot of you know John seeing visions and he's describing these visions of what heaven looks like and, and and you know God on his throne like read that try to get some details and try to like picture you know you're in heaven and you're seeing the father sitting sitting on the throne you know whatever you got to do just focus on him okay then when you get that focus on him not on your kids not on your husband nobody else during this time give him your all give him your total attention during this time once you give him your total attention 
make sure you're relaxed, you know, because focusing on the Lord, you shouldn't be tensed up, you know, you shouldn't be all, you know, your muscles all tensed, tensed up like you're afraid or something. Make sure you relax. Get still. Get quiet. <laughs> Okay, and then when you do that, when you're you're still, you're not tensed up, you don't have no anxiety, no fear or anything, you're not afraid of the Lord, then ask the Lord to fill your mind with his peace. Ask him, say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you fill my mind with your peace. And keep asking him to do that over and over again until you feel his peace consume your mind. You'll feel it. I'm telling you, it's the best feeling ever. I mean, all of those thoughts about your problems and all of that stuff, you won't have any of those things anymore. When God fills your mind with his peace, your whole mind will just be at peace. You will feel so relaxed. And then whenever you feel his mind consume your peace, consume your, um, his peace, <laughs> consume your mind, your heart opens, your heart opens at that time. And I'm telling you, it's a great feeling like even um, the air, like if you take a deep breath, the air will feel clean um, because your heart is open to God and it's a, a direct access to God himself. And the, even the air is different there. The air is different in that realm, in that spiritual realm. OK, so at this at this point, you're accessing the spiritual realm. So once your heart is open to the Lord, this is the time that you should pray. If you have, you want to pray for your children, your spouse, um, you know, anything you want to do, do it while your heart is open because this is your access to, to uh, God. You're there with him. And this is also the place where you can do warfare at this time. If you are being attacked by anything in your body, your mind, your kids are being attacked, you can petition God. You can, you can do warfare. You can ask the Lord to remove these attacks off your mind, remove these attacks off your uh, kids. Ask him to remove the attacks in the name of Jesus Christ um, while you're there. Okay. Then whenever you finish worshiping, praying, um, asking the Lord to remove attacks, whatever you're doing. Then whenever you're finished, ask the Lord to remove you from the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep asking him to remove you until you feel that you're removed. You'll be able to tell. It's, 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 it's a difference. You'll be able to tell when you're removed. Um, but that is how you access uh, the spiritual realm. And like I said, don't get distracted while, while you're there because you can get crossed over into the demonic realm because your focus can shift from God to something else. But ask the Lord to remove you from that realm before you get distracted and take your focus off of him so you can get back into the natural realm and then you can go about your natural life. But when you're in that spiritual realm with the Lord, your focus needs to be 100% on him. And then whenever you feel something's changing where you're about to get distracted or you have to go to work, just ask him to remove you so you will not cross over. OK. <laughs> OK, so those are um, that's how to access the spiritual realm of God and how to actually get out. And the next podcast, I'm going to share uh, a little bit more things that can hinder you from accessing the spiritual realm. OK. All right. So God bless. Hello everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson with Freedom Nation and today I am doing this podcast on Spiritual Warfare Part 4 and I'm excited to do these little podcasts, just some, some basic tips about spiritual warfare and uh, doing it the right way, doing it with the Lord. Everything needs to be done with the Lord. Every time you get up in the morning, what I teach people and, and you know, because I basically help people walk with God um, and you know the ones who desire to walk with God like Enoch um, that was my desire when I first read the Bible I wanted to walk with the Lord like Enoch and so those if you're out there and you want to walk with the Lord like Enoch that's you know that's one of the things I help people to be able to walk with the Lord like that and one of the things I tell them when you get up every part of your thing everything that you do every day invite God in invite him in invite him in to help guide you to give you instructions um you know you know advice everything invite him in to be a part of it you know everything that you do your decisions invite him you know so he can be a part of those things okay and so today we are going to talk about what are some of the things that can hinder you from accessing the spiritual realm with god and also uh what are some of the things 
that can also give demonic spirits legal rights to attack you. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, this can actually hinder you from accessing the realm of God, and this can also be a legal right for demonic spirits to attack you. Um, the number one thing is having sin in your heart. Having sin in your heart. That can cause so many, I mean, so many things. Um, it can hinder a lot of good things from happening to you. And the Lord wants to bless his children, but um, it kind of hinders him if we have sin in our heart. And so it's very simple to get it removed. You know, you just repent of allowing it into your heart, whatever the sin, if it's fear, um, rejection, unforgiveness, whatever it is, um, anger, whatever it is, you just repent for allowing it into your heart because you open your heart to it. Um, and you allowed it to come inside of there and stay. You repent for allowing it into your heart and, and do it straight, you know, from a pure heart. You know, really, really mean it when you're doing it. Because if you're just repenting and you're not really meaning it, it's not like serious to you. Um, it's not going to be received and that sin will still be in your heart. So you, when you repent, you have to make it serious. You have to really mean it. And then um, the Lord will remove it from your heart. OK, and then after you get your sin repented of, um, ask the Lord to remove it from your heart. OK, and then the other legal right is <coughs> if you are in um, the demonic realm. Now, this is a legal right for demons to attack you if you are in the demonic realm. And like I was talking about uh, before, um, how there's two realms. You have the realm of God and the realm, the demonic realm. And the demonic realm in the spiritual realm is the place where the witches and all of those occult people, they operate in that realm and demons operate in that realm. And then God's realm is the perfect, awesome realm that Christians, we can access that realm, <laughs> you know. Um, but if you are, if you've crossed over, if you were worshiping and you didn't get out of the spiritual realm and you went about your day, and you crossed over into the demonic realm, you um, you can be attacked. That's the legal right for them to attack you. And a lot of times, worshipers, you know, and, you know, p people experience it after they finish worshiping, hanging out with the Lord, all of a sudden everything is going wrong. <laughs> and it's because they probably never got out of the spiritual realm. No one ever told them about getting out of the spiritual realm after they worship the Lord getting out of that realm once they cross in it, getting out and then going about their life. So they probably stay in that realm and they end up crossing over into the demonic realm. And that's where the attacks come because they are on the wrong, wrong realm, <laughs> you know. Uh, so those are two legal rights that um, the enemy will have to attack you. If you have sin in your heart and if you are in the demonic realm accidentally, um, crossed over and so this is what I like to um, tell people to do if you are wanting to spend some time with the Lord to do war spiritual warfare or um, anything like that and check and see if you're in the demonic realm if, you, if you're having a bad day a negative attitude you know if you just feel like things is just negative around you just don't know why you're feeling that way you're probably in the demonic realm. And the only thing you have to do is just keep asking the Lord to remove you from that realm in the name of Jesus Christ. And just keep asking him to remove you. Uh, he will. And then once you get out, um, check and see if you have any kind of sin in your heart. And ask the Lord to remove the sin in your heart. And then you can get back in um, the spiritual realm with the Lord. If you want to spend some time with him and you have... Um, some, you know, if you want to do spiritual warfare, but check those two things before you do spiritual warfare and make sure those things are taken care of and then you can actually do warfare after that. Okay, so this is just the legal rights um, that needs to be removed, things that need to be taken care of before you do spiritual warfare or before you access uh, the spiritual realm with God. Okay, all right, and so the next podcast. This one will be, I want to just give you a little bit information about some spiritual warfare that you can actually uh, do whenever you do um, access that realm with the Lord and you can get these things removed off of you, um, you know, different areas. So I'll share those things with you on the next podcast. Okay, God bless. 
Hello everyone, I am Apostle Michelle Peterson with Freedom Nation and today I am doing this podcast on spiritual warfare and and today I just want to share just some basic spiritual warfare um, strategies that whenever you are in the spiritual realm with the Lord, these are some things that you can actually ask the Lord to remove off of um, off of your life. And I'll share with you, um, every person on earth has their territory. This is the territory that God has given you. He's entrusted this territory um, to you, okay? And your territory, now he can give you more territory as you grow and as you mature in him and you're able to handle more, but you start out with your own territory and this is the territory that belongs to you your mind your spirit your soul your body your heart your finances if you call to ministry the ministry your family when i say family i mean your children they have to be you know young children they can't be at the place where they know um you know their mind is mature and your possessions, everything that the Lord is giving you, everything he's blessed you with, um, that those are, that's your territory, okay? So whenever you are doing basic warfare, when you're doing warfare and you're going before the Lord, this is your territory. These are things you can ask the Lord to do things, remove demonic attacks and things like that off of. This is your territory. So you have a legal right. You have authority over this territory, okay? So you can write those areas down. So these are some things that can be on these territories that you can also write down. So whenever you go before the Lord, you can ask him, are there any of these on your territories? And if there are, you can ask him to remove these or destroy these. Okay. There could be blocks, blocks on your mind, on your spirit, man, your soul, um, your heart, your finances. You know, there can be blocks on there and you have to ask the Lord to remove these blocks or ask him to release fire and destroy these blocks. You can do both. There could be cages, uh, demonic cages. Ask the Lord to remove those cages. Uh, there can be control systems where the kingdom of darkness is trying to control your mind, control um, your spirit man, different parts. You can ask the Lord to remove the control systems. Ask him to remove the demonic communication systems. The communication systems give uh, demonic spirits in the kingdom of darkness uh, access to be able to communicate with you, to talk to you. Um, you know, especially when you're trying to talk to the Lord and hear the Lord's voice, they will try to talk to you and try to deceive you and make you think that they're God. So you can ask the Lord to remove these communication systems off your mind, your spirit, man. Um, okay. Then they have tracking systems, tracking devices. You can ask the Lord to uh, remove these tracking devices from your spirit man. A lot of times they'll, you know, they have uh, access to your spirit man, <laughs> um, but they, they track us. So you can ask the Lord to remove tracking devices. Um, you can ask the Lord to remove entanglements, especially if you are a worshiper. If you have ever been in the spiritual realm and you have crossed over accidentally, they will put entanglements on you. Um, they will entangle you in all of these things. So you can ask the Lord to remove entanglements. Some of these things can take a while for the Lord to remove. So if you're going to go and spend time with the Lord, do one thing at a time. You know, because it can take some time to get these things removed. If this is your first time doing this, you can have layers and layers and layers and layers of stuff on you. So do one thing at a time in one area. If you want to just focus on your mind one day and ask the Lord to remove the blocks um, off your mind, focus on your mind that one day. Later on that night, you can come back in, spend time with the Lord and do your spirit, you know. But just take your time on each area so you can make sure this is done correctly. Don't try to go and do a blanket prayer and think everything is going to be off of you. That it doesn't work that way. It takes time. Okay. Then when you're in the realm with the Lord, you can ask the Lord to remove strongholds off of these areas. Like I said, do one area at a time. If you're going to do strongholds, do start with your mind. Do the strongholds that one time when you're with the Lord. And then get out, maybe come back later and do strongholds that's on your soul or your spirit or your body. Okay, so take your time. Okay, another thing is demonic houses, which demonic houses are like strongholds. Um, if you're dealing with fear and you've commanded the spirit of fear to leave and that spirit keeps coming back, 
there's uh, probably a house there. And because the house is still there, that demon is still there. Even though he's you're casting him out, he's still there. Okay. Then um, another thing that you can do also is any kind of ties, um, ties to, to the demonic kingdom or demonic spirits. You can ask the Lord to sever those ties to your mind, your spirit, man, your soul. Like I said, do one at a time. Um, ask them to sever ties uh, to the kingdom of darkness or demonic spirits that they have to your mind. Ask them to sever those. Um, sever any kind of connections. Okay, so um, these are just some basic things. There's so many more things that um, we found out that the enemy could put on us. I mean, so many different things that they have that causes us not to be able to hear the voice of God, not to be able to see, um, you know, things in the spirit realm. It hinders a lot of stuff. But if you have these basic things, ask the Lord to remove these things whenever you are in that realm with him. Ask him to remove these things off of you and your and your territory in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you do everything in the name of Jesus Christ. OK. Um, all right. So those are just the basic things. I hope you had a pen and paper and write it down. If you didn't just rewind this podcast, go back to the beginning, write down the basics. And then whenever you are with the Lord, you can ask him to remove these things. Also. When you are in the spiritual realm, the Lord is the one that fights for you in that realm. Okay? You know, so ask him to do everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't go up there with the Lord and start trying to command stuff to happen. Do not do that. Ask him. It's all about asking him. He will do, he will do it if you ask. If you ask, he will do it. So when you're in that realm with him, Ask him to do these things. When you get back out, you can start commanding demons to leave you alone. You can command when you're in the natural realm. But when you're with the Lord, ask him to do things for you. Okay? All right, you guys. So uh, be blessed. And this is the last of my spiritual warfare uh, podcast. My next podcast, I'm going to do a podcast about confirming things in the earth. Uh, that's a little different. Um but I'm going to do a, a podcast about that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this basic spiritual warfare 